Hi everyone. I'm just about to fit sound to my new Hell John Class 86. So I thought I'd do a quick video showing what I put in there and how I do it because people have found it useful in the past. Um, people have already been asking what speakers and stuff I'm going to be using in them. So I thought I'd do it as a video just to make it easier. So I've already taken the body off. The body just clips on. Um, like all the Heldron models, not like the newer 25 where it had screws in. So I've already taken it off just to make it a little bit quicker in the video. But you just have to be really careful because the parts underneath are particularly fragile. Uh, so you don't really want to be gripping it by them. I kind of held the ends of the buffer beams and just managed to get my fingernails under. Uh, but yeah, you do need to be careful otherwise you'll end up breaking pieces off quite nicely detailed so there's a lot of things that you could damage. So I've had a look at the space, it's quite well designed for sound. I'm struggling with light a little bit in here today because of the sun um, but hopefully you can see there's quite a flat area here where the speaker will go um, and your 21 pin decoder goes at the other end. Uh, just remember that because it's an electric loco you don't have as much height as you normally would. Um, so you could look at that and think you'll get a big mega bass speaker in or something but actually there's a sort of a dip in the roof once you put it back on so it wouldn't fit. Um, but I've tried a few different things in terms of size so this one would be an ideal candidate because it sits just below the line of the chassis um, and they sound good in electric low cost because I've used that in a Backman 85 before. That's the ultra flat bass enhanced by the way. Um, another one which I think will fit would be the 27mm round speaker, um, which is another bass enhanced one. Um, and that'll fit there. It's just slightly taller than the other one, but I think that'd still fit as well. Um, and they sound pretty good as well, so I think that'd be another good option. But what I actually think will just squeeze in, based on the fact that some of the things already stick up higher than the top of the chassis so I'm guessing that the, there is going to be enough clearance is the 25 by 25 by 7 megabase speaker um, I think that'll fit in and I think it'll sound really good so I've already connected it to a Locksound 5 decoder and I'm going to fit it in now so the only tool I've got really is a well not a tool but material is a little bit of black tack um, and I've used a bit of heat shrink over the joints. Now people have asked in previous videos how I connected the speaker so this time I'll just let you know that I've connected the speaker to the decoder because otherwise it has to connect to CN6 on the circuit board which means you need a, a plug which isn't supplied so you just got to be careful where you have the wires so you don't trap anything but yeah, the I've left the wire fairly long on purpose and I'm just going to hold everything in place with a bit of black tack. Now black tack's really strong so you don't need much. So I'm just getting two little pieces and I'll sort of roll it into a strip and I'm going to just put one at either side of the speaker. And that's that, that's held in place, that's not going to go anywhere now. And then I'll also just use a little bit of black tech to hold the wires in place. I'll just put a little bit in between the, the two foam pads on top of the motor there which will hold it there. And then I don't know if I just need a little bit at this end as well just to stop the wires getting trapped when I put the body back on. So yeah I've just put a little bit there um, if you can see it. You just need to be careful with black tech that you don't use too much. I get a lot of models sent for repairs and stuff where people have just put massive pieces of black tech in and it's pulled all wiring off the circuit board and stuff. But if you just use it sparingly like that then you, you're not really going to have any problems. I sell the black tech on my website as either part of a fitting kit or on its own. If you get in the fitting kit you'll also get some of the heat shrink and some cutters which come in useful for this installation as well. 
Um, but yeah, that's it really in terms of the installation. It was dead easy to do. Um, so I'm going to put the body back on now and I'm going to go and test it on the layout and do a quick video of it running around for you to watch.